Lesson sixty two. Lesson sixty two. Life. Life. Lives. Lives. Vers. Nếu đọc nhanh hay là vers luôn. Vers. Lives. Lives. The poor. The poor. The rich. The rich. If a noun finishes with f or fe, we make the plural by changing the f or fe to ves. For example, the plural of wife is wives. Or you say fast, you say wives. The plural of knife is knives. The plural of scarf is scarves. What's the plural of life? What's the plural of life? The plural of life is lives. The plural of life is lives. Do you think the lives of the poor are happier than those of the rich? Do you think the lives of the poor are happier than those of the rich? Yes, I think the lives of the poor are happier than those of the rich. Yes, I think the lives of the poor are happier than those of the rich. Although, 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 make a sentence with the word although in it. Make a sentence with the word although in it. Although the food was not very nice, I ate it because I was hungry. Although the food was not very nice, I ate it because I was hungry. Although you're now able to hold a simple conversation in English, do you think you should keep studying? Although you are now able to hold a simple conversation in English, do you think you should keep studying? Yes. Although I'm now able to hold a simple conversation in English, I think I should keep studying. Although I am now able to hold a simple conversation in English, I think I should keep studying. Are some people always happy, although they have problems in their lives? Are some people always happy, although they have problems in their life? Yes, some people are always happy, although they have problems in their lives. Yes, some people are always happy, although they have problems in their lives. Yes, some people are always happy, although they have problems in their life. Cook, cook, tasty, tasty, tasty. Pasta, pasta. Is there a restaurant near here that cooks tasty food? Is there a restaurant near here that cooks tasty food? Yes, there's a restaurant near here that cooks tasty food. Yes, there's a restaurant near here that cooks tasty food. No, there isn't a restaurant near here that cooks tasty food. Is it difficult to cook pasta? Is it difficult to cook pasta? No, it isn't difficult to cook pasta. It's easy. No, it isn't difficult to cook pasta. It's easy. Are you a good cook? Are you a good cook? Yes, I'm a good cook. Yes, I'm a good cook. Independent. 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 Do you think that all the countries of the world should be independent? Do you think all the countries of the world should be independent? Yes, I think that all the countries of the world should be independent. Yes, I think that all the countries of the world should be independent. Origin. Origin. Do many European languages have their origins in Latin? Do many European languages have their origins in Latin? Yes, many European languages have their origins in Latin. Yes, many European languages have their origins in Latin. Belong to. Belong to. Why don't you take this book home with you after the lesson? Why don't you take this book home with you after the lesson? Why don't you take this book home with you after the lesson? I don't take that book home with me after the lesson because it doesn't belong to me. I don't take that book home with me after the lesson because it doesn't belong to me. I don't take that book home with me after the lesson because it doesn't belong to me. Who does that pen belong to? Who does that pen belong to? This pen belongs to me. 
This pen belongs to me. If a factory belonged to you, do you think you would be able to make a lot of money? If a factory belonged to you, do you think you would be able to make a lot of money? Yes, if a factory belonged to me, I think I'd be able to make a lot of money. Yes, if a factory belonged to me, I think it would be able to make a lot of money. Could, could, vice versa. Vice versa. Could is the past of can, but we can also use could instead of would be able to in conditional sentences. Could is the past of can, but we can also use could instead of would be able in conditional sentences. What can we use instead of would be able in conditional sentences? What can we use instead of would be able in conditional sentences? We can use could instead of would be able in conditional sentences. We can use could instead of would be able in conditional sentences. Give me an example, please. Give me an example, please. If I was a bird, I could fly. If I was a bird, I could fly. Now I'm going to ask you some questions with could, and you answer with would be able, and vice versa. Now I'm going to ask you some questions with could, and you answer with would be able, and vice versa. If you were very very tall. Could you touch the ceiling? If you were very very tall, could you touch the ceiling? Yes, if I were very very tall. Yes, if I were very very tall. I would be able to touch the ceiling. I would be able to touch the ceiling. I would be able to touch the ceiling. If you were a doctor, would you be able to help people who were ill? If you were a doctor, would you be able to help people who were ill? Yes, if I were a doctor, I could help people who were ill. Yes, if I was a doctor, I could help people who were ill. If you were as strong as a horse, could you lift a man above your head with only one hand? If you were as strong as a horse, could you lift a man above your head with only one hand? Yes, if I were as strong as a horse, I would be able to lift a man above my head with only one hand. Yes, if I was as strong as a horse, I would be able to lift a man above my head with only one hand. Throw, throw. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You're going to throw your pen at the window. You're going to throw your pen at the window. Do you think you could throw a stone further than I can? Do you think you could throw a stone further than I can? Yes, I think I could throw a stone further than you can. Yes, I think I could throw a stone further than you can. Alive, alive, dead, dead. Is Napoleon alive? Is Napoleon alive? No, Napoleon isn't alive. He's dead. No, Napoleon isn't alive. Is dead. Drop. Drop. Go without. Go without. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're dropping your pen on the table. You're dropping your pen on the table. What's the pen doing? What's the pen doing? The pen's dropping on the table. The pen's dropping on the table. What would happen if I dropped a glass on the floor? What would happen if I drop a glass on the floor? If you dropped a glass on the floor, it would break. If you dropped a glass on the floor, it would break. What's the longest time you have ever gone without drinking a drop of water? What's the longest time you have ever gone without drinking a drop of water? The longest I've ever gone without drinking a drop of water is about ten hours. The longest time I have gone without drinking a drop of water is ten hours. Assassinate. Assassinate. What happened to President Kennedy? What happened 
to President Kennedy. President Kennedy was assassinated in 1963. President Kennedy was assassinated in 1963. Usual. Usual. Unusual. Unusual. Did anything unusual happen to you yesterday? Did anything unusual happen to you yesterday? Yes, something unusual happened to me yesterday. Yes, something unusual happened to me yesterday. What? What? I found twenty pounds in the street. I found twenty pounds on the street. Is it usual for people in your country to eat hot food for breakfast? Is it usual for people in your country to eat hot food for breakfast? Yes, it's usual for people in my country to eat hot food for breakfast. Yes, it's usual for people in my country to eat hot food for breakfast. Is it unusual for children to find coffee tasty? Is it unusual for people to find coffee tasty? Yes, it's unusual for children to find coffee tasty. Yes, it's unusual for children to find coffee tasty. Still, still. Yet, yet. In progress, in progress, in progress. We use still for something that is in progress at the moment, whereas we use yet for something that has not begun or happened. For example, it is still winter. It isn't spring yet. It is still twenty something. It isn't twenty something yet. It's still Monday. It isn't Tuesday yet, etc. We generally use still in positive sentences, whereas we use uh we generally use yet in questions and negative sentences, but not always. We must learn when to use still and when to use yet by practice. What's the difference between still and yet? The difference between still and yet is that we use still for something that is in progress at the moment, whereas we use yet for something that has not begun or happened. We generally use still in positive sentences, whereas we generally use yet in questions and negative sentences. What's the difference between still and yet? The difference between still and yet is that. We use still for something that is in progress at the moment, whereas we use yet for something that has not begun or happened. We generally use still in positive sentences, whereas we use we generally use yet in questions and negative sentences. What's the difference between still and yet? The difference between still and yet is that we use still for something that is in progress at the moment. Whereas we use yet for something that has not begun or happened, we generally use still in positive sentences. Whereas we generally use yet in questions and negative sentences. Give me some examples, please. Give me some examples, please. It's still winter. It isn't spring yet. It's still winter. It isn't spring yet. Has the lesson finished yet? Has the lesson finished yet? No, the lesson hasn't finished yet. It's still in progress. No, the lesson hasn't finished yet. It's still in progress. Have we finished speaking yet? Have we finished speaking yet? No, we haven't finished speaking yet. We're still speaking. No, we haven't finished speaking yet. We're still speaking. Have they gone home yet? Have they gone home? Have they gone home yet? No, they haven't gone home yet. They're still here. No, they haven't gone home yet. They are still here. Has the spring begun yet? Has the spring begun yet? No, the spring hasn't begun yet. It's still winter. No, the spring hasn't begun yet. It's still winter. Will I still be in this country in two weeks' time? Will I still be in this country in two weeks' time? Yes, you'll still be in this country in two weeks' time. Yes, you'll still be in this country in two weeks' time. Special, special. If I receive a call from him, I will stay. I'll stay. It is an ordinary paint story. 
It makes nothing special. Rainy days make me sad. I listened, but I could hear no sound. What song do you suggest I get him to give us if he is not too tired? We don't turn right until we get to the next street. The opposite of death is life. Thank you for your listening and thank you for your practice. So hope you uh, see you uh, for the next lesson. Thank you a lot. Bye.